Hello, this must be Thursday. This is a special edition of Thursday Thoughts because our new priest has arrived. He arrived yesterday and we welcome him to St. John's and um, also he'll be uh, at Haskell. And so that'll be a work in progress, how that, how that all um, plays out, but uh, he'll be around. So welcome Jordan, Father Jordan Rojas. Thank you, he Father He was John. ordained in May of this year. Yeah, it was. It was a couple months ago, but it's gone by pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And uh, where was that? So I was ordained uh, at the Archdiocese of San Antonio. The province does its theology studies there. And so that's where I um, I requested to get ordained. Yeah. And the Archbishop is? Uh, Gustavo. Uh, Archbishop Gustavo Celiat. And how is the Archbishop doing? He's doing really well. He he uh, he was presider over the ordinations, and he was he's so full of joy. And so he took a minute to come spend some time with us before ordination, and and sort of prayed with us and prayed around us during that time. And he's doing well. He's doing very well. Right. Yeah. I always enjoy talking with him. And he's a good man. With him. Yeah. yeah. Great. And uh, so you just ended up your studies. Correct. In April? May. In May. In May, okay. yeah. Okay. So fast and furious, but thanks be to God, a uh, week before ordination, we finished everything up. Okay, yeah. very good. And um, so where are you from? Right, so Texas. I'm a Texas boy. Uh, I was uh, originally from um, West Texas. But then when I came into the Friars, I was living in uh, Round Rock, Texas. So it's an Austin suburb. Round Rocks has famous donuts. They do, Round Rock donuts. (laughs) They're like this big. (laughs) Great. I enjoyed our visit there. It was delicious. (laughs) It was good. Okay. And um, so before you uh, joined the... um, Capuchins, you were in the business world, right? I was, yeah. I, I worked. Uh, I worked for Dell for eleven years uh, before finally heeding the call. Uh, so I'm a late vocation uh, to the to the order, um, and I traveled a great deal. I was what the title that I had was a, a regional account manager. So I traveled uh, actually a great deal. I think. I think it was 320 days uh, before joining the order was the, the, I set the record for the, for the department. Wow. Yeah. It was pretty serious. What does an account manager do? Yeah. So uh, the account that I had, I don't know if I can talk about the specific account, but let's say, let's say it's, uh, let's say it's Microsoft, for example, right? So my account specifically was to offer um, the computer, uh, the hardware, the back end, the front end, all of those things that make uh, that work together. And then I hire managers to go institute that. And then those regional managers hire local managers for the offices. So the account manager does the budgeting, does the hiring, the initial project implementation, and et cetera. That's probably boring. <laughs> well, I'm going to look forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, um, once you entered the order, what have you been your ministries along the way? Right. Yeah, those have been really rewarding. So even from the very beginning, we had um, Little Sisters of the Poor in Denver. That was one of the first uh, ministries that we had during postulancy. Um, and then, uh, you know, from there, it was like working with men at the homeless shelter in Denver. What's the name of that shelter again? Samaritan. Samaritan House uh, and giving a, a class. Uh, for men once a week uh, at Samaritan House. Then going off to Novitiate and doing a just a ton of different ministries. I think it's one of the wonderful things about formation is that they allow you different avenues by which to not only engage others in ministry, but to engage yourself, to be able to learn what your skills are and how they can best be applied. Okay, and during your time in San Antonio, mm-hmm. you were doing... So this last year or like all my ministries? All four years. Ooh. So I did uh, prison ministry. I worked a great deal in the hospital, which uh, brought me a tremendous amount of joy. 
Um, I gave um, talks at parishes. I worked with um, sort of marriage encounter. Um, what else did I do? Uh, youth ministry, just a ton of different ministries for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was very, it was very wonderful, especially this, this last year. It was so rewarding. Mm -hmm. So you were at the shrine of Padre Pio. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you were deacon there. I was. I was. Uh, I was. Uh, so I did my. We have a, as a part of our formation process an internship year uh, before your last year in theology, and so that internship year was spent at the shrine of Padre Pio in San Antonio, Texas. And I mean that parish is. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, they they just really were instrumental in forming and nourishing, uh, nurturing uh, my vocation along in a really important way. And, and so, yes, so I spent my internship year there. Then my fourth year, while I was still going to school, I would, do, I would, uh, I would serve as deacon for a couple of masses. And then after ordination, Monsignor put me to work as priest very quickly. So okay. listen to confessions, take the, all the weekend masses, do these things. So he's... He's a good man. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. My gosh. That it, from that time? So from the time of the month, he, uh -huh. he really worked. For he really did. Okay. Yeah. So like well, last weekend, good. I did all the masses, all mm -hmm. the confessions, and yeah, it was busy. Mm -hmm. Great. So you're used to doing all this. <laughs> I don't know that I'm used to it. but <laughs> <laughs> Great. And... Um, you are going to be in Native American ministry and parish ministry. And yeah. What are you kind of looking forward to? I'm looking forward to reestablishing some of the relationships I had with, with uh, some of the Indian community here. They were, uh, I lived here before in Lawrence, uh, not in a clergy uh, role, but more in a, one that was uh, in a formational role. And so I worked a great deal of time at Haskell and enjoyed myself tremendously, made some wonderful relationships, great friendships. Um, and so I'm more excited about sort of rekindling those relationships and learning about um, Haskell, you know, just filling in the gaps, having them fill in the gaps for me for those the time that I was away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... Um... Well, H Haskell is really in the news lately, yeah. and so hopefully um, will be a uh, reconciling, peaceful presence. So thank you. I'm sure you'll do that. I hope so. Okay. I hope so. Okay. And uh, you spent a summer here at St. John's. Then what were you doing that summer? Yeah, so I was uh, doing different things, helping out uh, with different ministries. Again, I worked with the youth for a little bit. Um, I actually uh, spent so much time here and had a great time here, not just here, but here in Lawrence, that I had my solemn profession to the order uh, here at St. John's. I don't know if some of you might remember that. That was a while ago. Right. Yeah. And I remember you uh, being in a Halloween parade or something. It was so much fun. <laughs> That was so much fun. Not only was it the Halloween parade, but it was also, uh, what is that uh, event that you guys, that Lawrence has? It starts with a B. Buster. Buster, Buster, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. That was, yeah. I got pulled into a couple of, uh, of events there. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's pictures out on the internet. You don't want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jordan, we're looking forward to having you here and... Um, I uh, am looking forward to uh, really having a working relationship and uh, that we can serve the people of St. John's yeah, well. Man.